In uh, about a week, uh, on my one year anniversary of exiting WWE, and it's actually been a hell of a year. I've uh, gotten to go over to England several times uh, for XWA, Chikara, work all over the US. Uh, I've gotten to work with a lot of the, the top indie guys, uh, both here and abroad. Uh, I, I think one of the problems that I, I had to sort of fight with my time in WWE was because stylistically what was requested of me wasn't exactly my specialty. I'm known more for my ability to sort of integrate uh, shoot style grappling into my matches. I'm really more of a mat based technician. So part of the battle I've had since getting released is that I've had to sort of show people what I really do because they saw me for a year on TV and never actually saw me. They never saw Seth. They saw a character that I was being paid to portray and matches I was being told to have. I, I realized I needed to change up certain things about uh, my presentation and stuff because while I felt like if I stayed doing the singlet, if I stayed doing the same character, even if I tried to tweak it to be more what I thought it should be, I felt it would look like I was just kind of trying to piggyback on what I was already doing, and that was going to be a failure. I think I've been able to, through some exceptional opponents and getting to work with some really talented guys, I've been able to sort of show people more who I am, which has been a, a nice transition. There, there was a point where I think the, there was a lot of misconceptions about me based on some pretty inaccurate reporting. I have no objection to comedy, I have no objection to being entertaining, but I, I'm a big believer in I want to sell you on me as a, as a wrestler and as a, uh, as a performer. No matter how entertaining you are on the mic, no matter how good your gimmick or your character or your presentation is, if the bell rings and you have a boring match or you have an uninteresting match or you have just a bad match to be perfectly blunt, the audience isn't going to want to invest in you. Some people think there's a, uh, a separation between technical wrestling and artistic or uh, performance based wrestling, the, but the reality of it is, is that it's the same thing. It's just a matter of how you're approaching the problem. I have a somewhat unusual personality. I'm easily bored, but because I don't really get offended, I can rub people the wrong way, but that's usually in passing. I speak very fast. Daniel Bryan had actually told me, uh, we, we kind of came to this conclusion that he's, he said, I get upset talking to you sometimes, I don't know why, and we finally figured it out it's because I talk so fast. And sometimes I can rub people the wrong way, but once again, I'm not here to make you happy. I'm, I'm here to have fun. This is, I've got to be able to be happy with my own work.